Ayan. I'm sorry. Masyadong ano yung ano. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good day, good evening, or whatever time na nakita nyo tong ating YouTube channel. And by the way, as of today, October 10, I would like to say thank you so much po sa ating 1,400 plus. Ayan, 415 na siguro to. O 400 na titingnan natin. Ha? Ilan na ba yung subscriber natin? Oh yes, thank you so much po. Ang dami. Actually, sumisikit na talaga si BCLT. In fact, uh, if hindi naman sa nag, ano, pero halos na yata sa buong Pinas na yung nag inquire sa akin related to my review materials, related sa ating online review session, at saka sa ating mock examinations. So, thank you so much po. Pasensya na po kung may nakikita ko yung toalya sa likod. <laughs> Sige lang. Na, na, mas, mas, malapit kasi yan sa, ano, ayan, ganito yun na lang. Okay po, ganyan na lang. Pwede nyo makita. So, ayan, hindi ko, ano, kung, ayan, 1,416 subscriber. Maraming, 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 maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. At, today, since malapit na po, I think it's only 13 days. Yeah, beginning today up to 23, ay 13 days na lang po ay BCLT exam na. So, at dahil dyan, as part of my, ano, I don't forget nga po pala muna to uh, visit my channel and of course like, share, subscribe na rin, and watch watch po ng ating mga video. Mayroon tayong playlist, everything is related to the BCLTE. Ito lang yung titingnan nyo po all about BCLT review it has ano po um 34 videos sunod-sunod na yan and yan pwede nga po talaga based on the experiences of my former uh, subscribers na ipasa naman po nila yung exam uh, gamit lang po yung pag-watch ng ating mga videos and in fact tatlo of them three or four if I'm not mistaken um, the basis of uh, kung ano talaga ay nagwa-watch po sila ng mga video natin so hindi ko na po patatagalin I believe ready na po kayo today because um, since 13 days na nga lang po uh, I'd like to share with you this uh, practice test uh, practice questions na uh, maybe it might be or possibly this are this will be asked so umpisahan na lang po natin and yung mga tanong, I'll only give you mga ano, siguro 15 to 20 items, para naman po, this is my first gift ika nga, per, first gift for the October 23 2022 exam so, are you ready? Let's start uh, for the first question as a general rule, the creation of local government unit or its conversion from one level to another level shall be based verifiably indicators of viability and projected capacity to provide services. What are those indicators? A. Income B. Population C. Land D. All of this. Of course, basically, the IPL is part of the three verifiable indicators to create in LGU or convert. So, letter D po. That's a good. Number two. The creation of province may be created, divided, merged, abolished, or its boundaries substantially altered only by an act of Congress. Please remember this. And subject to approval majority of votes cast in a play visit within 120 days. Question is, a province may be created if it has A, income of 20 million pesos, B, population of 250,000, C, a land area of 2,000 2, square kilometers. And the answer is, of course, letter D. All of these three, A, B, C, are part of uh, province creation. How about this one, number three? The creation of city may be created, divided, merged, that it's only also uh, altered by an act of Congress and subject to the approval of majority of votes cast in plebiscite within 120 days. That a city may be created income of 100 million, population of 150,000, and a land of 100 square kilometer. So the answer is letter D. Number four, how about naman po the creation of a municipality that it has created into A, income of 2 million, 
B. Population of 25,000 C. Land of 50 square kilometer Yeah <laughs> Tama, lahat po ng indicators are part of the creation of a municipality Number 5 How about this highly urbanized city created into a 50 million income and a population of 200,000 Ah, uh, yes! Tama po! It is both A and B. Salamat po sa pagsabay, sa mga pagsagot-sagot ninyo while watching this video. And the creation of barangay may be created if it has what? 2 million income, 500, population of 2,000, C, land area 50 square kilometer. Basically, it is based on the population. Pero, meron pa pa itong additional um, additional na requirements. Pero, pag sinabi natin population of 2,000, it is uh, pertaining or re uh, refers agad to a barangay creation. Number seven, except in the vacancies caused by sudden death, illness, or absconding of incumbent designations and extension, It shall be processed by the regional office within blank days before expected temporary permanent vacancy and submitted to where within blank days from the issuance of the order. It is 10, BLGF 10, 10, BIR 10, 15, BLGF 15, none of the above. And the correct answer is of course letter C. Yeah, please be reminded that it is processed by the regional office within 15 days and then is submit po nito sa BLGF then uh, within 15 days ang issuance ng kanyang order. Designation submitted by the regional director for confirmation shall be acted upon by the Secretary of Finance. Bureau of Local Government Finance within how many days from the receipt of which subject designation is then approval. 10, 30, 15 Ang maganda dito sa ganitong setup ay uh, as of now it is 15, 15, 15 So, letter C Ah, okay <laughs> Continue na tayo kasi um, para mas kita ako dito So, thank you so much Again, uh, let's proceed for number 9. The designation submitted to BLG for confirmation shall be accompanied by the following documents. A. Regional Special Order, Personal Order, issued by the BLG of the Regional Director. B. Comment or recommendation by the BLG of the Regional Director. C. Recommendation of the PCT or Province City Treasurer. In the case of our IC, IC of Municipal Treasurer and as Acting Assistant, Municipal, Municipal, Assistant Provincial City Municipal Treasurer. So, ano pang inihintay po natin? These three choices, A, B, and C, are part of the documents. So, it's all of the above. 10. How about this one? This is a continuation for the uh, submission of documents to the BLG for further confirmation. And A, written consent or recommendation by the local chief executives and the updated PDS with passport size photo. So, the answer is letter C. Number 11, blank is an official or sino to official employee designated by proper authority in a temporary capacity to avert paralyzation of the day-to-day -day operations of the office. In the meantime, that the provincial city or municipal treasurer is temporary absent. Officer in charge, in charge of office, assistant local treasurer, o wala po sa kanila. So the answer is letter A. Officer in charge. Number 12. Is an official or employee designated by proper authority in a temporary capacity to discharge the duties and functions of head of local treasurer in a caretaker capacity with a certain limitation of powers, authority, and prerogative normalized uh, exercised by the head of office of OIC, ICO, or the in charge of office? Is she the assistant local treasurer? For this time, it's letter B. 
it's in charge of office please uh, uh, please be remind uh, tingnan nyo po yung mga naka highlight or naka bold na mga words per questions kasi yan yung magiging basihan ninyo to remember uh, ano yung mga isasagot Number 13, the absence of a local treasure or a single local treasure is considered service in regular course under the following witness in a criminal case, witness in his own behalf in criminal or business proceedings, witness in a civil case between two private parties on which the government has no interest. So, itong dal dalaw uh, tatlong WWW are part of yan, regular service ng mga treasurer. How about this one, number 14? The special leave privileges to which the provincial city municipal treasurer shall be entitled to the following. Funeral or morning leave, graduation leave, enrollment leave, wedding anniversary, and all of these are considered special leave privileges. So the answer is letter E. All of these. 15. The duties and responsibilities of the provincial city municipal treasurer too are the following. Collection of local revenues, collection of real property tax, custody and requisition of accountable forms, are the all of these. Oh yeah, it's letter D. Yung tatlong yan ay part of the duties and responsibilities of a PCM or Province City Municipal Treasurer. How about this one? The local treasurer shall exercise such other powers and functions. Siya po ba ay mag-withhold being a building agent of BIR, permit to Manila local treasurers, deputies of the national government to collect fire fees and alien registration fees, siya po ba ay members of the following committees and boards. Oh yeah, it's letter D. Seventeen. Paano naman po itong uh, the treasurer shall take charge of the treasury office perform the duties as the following in a general function. Ayan. Advise the governor or mayor and other local government, national concern regarding disposition of local government funds and other such matters relative to public finance. Take custody and exercise proper management of fund. Take charge of the disbursement of government funds and are these three are part of a general uh, function of a treasurer? Basically, it's a yes. All of the above. All of this ABCR duties and responsibilities of a treasurer as general function. Another one as general function nila for number 18 is inspect private commercial and establishment. B. Maintain and update the tax information system LGU. Then, in the case of a provincial treasurer, exercise technical supervision over all treasury offices of cities and municipalities. So again, for this number, uh, the A, B, and C are still part of a general function of a treasurer. So, the same, all of them above pa rin. 19. Paano naman po if mayroon tayong specific functions which of the following are performed by a treasurer? A, certify as, a, as to availability of fund, implement tax collection enforcement program, Prepare, submit reports, certify RPT, delinquencies remaining uncollected. So, hindi ko na kayo pahirapan. It's still letter E. And last number for this uh, series. Yan, series talaga kasi may susunod pa ng mga video. And more gifts, blessing, graces for you, takers ng October 23, 2022 exam. Last question. How about naman po the other specific functions functions of a treasurer. A. Examine the book of accounts and pertinent record of businessmen. Certified income statement covering income expenditures. Issue a certified statement covering actual income and use in a testing of ways and measures set of secondary standards. So, ito nga po. Walang kamatayang mga all of the above po kasi uh, majority of our uh, questions. It's because I want you everyone to please recognize, familiarize and yun, uh, possible memorize kasi maaring may kukunin dito para maging exempt yung setup sa question or 
dadagdagan nila ng iba pang ano. So, wag lang kayo malito. Please familiarize on it. So, with that, there is 13 days or 2 weeks na lang po para ma-prepare inyo mga sarili to become the next certified local treasurer eligible. With that, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. And please don't forget to visit. Share na rin po sa lahat ng mga kakilala ninyo. Maraming salamat. Good night. Good, bye, good day. Good afternoon. Thank you.